Hi, I'm Dr. Lambert. Uh, I'm here at Quinnebog Valley Veterinary Hospital, my veterinary hospital, and I've got Valerie assisting me, and we've got Archer, a 12-week-old puppy, in for his first puppy examination. So today we're going to take a look at Archer from, from tip of his nose down to the tip of his tail and make sure he's healthy. The first part of the examination is to look into Archer's mouth and I'm looking in there and Arthur's, Archer's teeth are, are very sharp but these are his puppy teeth. He's going to be losing these in the next probably two to three weeks up until he's about six months of age and we'll keep an eye on his, his adult teeth as they come in just to make sure they're coming in correct. So his teeth look good so I'm going to check out his eyes. His eyes look very clear, they look good, good boy. Now his ears. He's a good boy, huh? Yes, I know. That ear looks good. Good boy, Archer. Good boy. And that ear looks good. Both of his ears look very clean. Not any wax. Good boy. The next thing we're going to take a listen to is Archer's heart. Listen to both the left side and the right side. He has a normal sinus rhythm. He's got a good sounding heart rate. Next thing we're going to do is focus on the underneath of Archer. You check underneath the hood. No hernias. Archer's skin looks, looks very healthy. Make sure there are no parasites, no fleas. Does not have any. As I can see, I'm going to double check him with the flea comb. He's got no dandruff, his skin looks healthy, his coat looks healthy. So now I'm going to check his limbs. Make sure his back legs feel normal, his knees, his hips, his knee, and his hip. I'm going to take a look at his tail. Also take a look at his rear end, looks perfectly fine. I'm going to check out his front legs, his elbow, his other front leg, his elbow. And I'm going to check his lymph nodes, make sure they feel normal. He's got lymph nodes under his chin, he's got them in his shoulders, in his axillary or armpit area, in his groin area, and on each one of his legs behind his knees. He feels very healthy, he looks very healthy. And so the next thing that we're going to discuss um, after he, he passes his physical exam is vaccinations. Um, vaccinations are, are very important. Uh, we gear our vaccines to, to what we have here in the area, the different diseases that dogs could encounter from other dogs, from fox, from coyote. Our puppy vaccines, the, the first ones that we do is a series of three vaccines, is a distemper vaccine. And a lot of times people ask, what, what is distemper? Well, distemper is a virus. It's a lot like measles virus in, in people, but the distemper, um, virus itself could have detrimental effects causing vomiting and, and diarrhea. So we vaccinate him against it. We do not want him to get um, distemper. And Archer is also due for his, uh, for his rabies vaccine. And the state and federal law uh, in Connecticut is, is 12 weeks old for, for the rabies vaccine. So he's, I'm sure he's going to be really happy to get them. So we're going to come over and we're going to give him his rabies vaccine. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good that is rabies boy. vaccine. Good what a good boy. Yeah. Good yes. Job. We'll give him a treat because he was such a good boy for that vaccine. What a good dog. And since Archer is, is smaller, we'll probably split his vaccines up a, a, a week or so apart. Some of the smaller dogs I like to separate the vaccines out. So I'm just giving him his rabies vaccine today. We'll give him his distemper vaccine next week. What a good boy. Good job. Yes. Hi. Yeah, you were such a good boy. Who, did, who gave you that vaccine, huh? Yeah. The next thing I'd like to talk about, uh, first we're going to check Archer's weight. He's been such a good boy. So Arch, let's see how much you weigh. We're getting Archer's weight. He's four pounds, four ounces. 
So we can discuss the next important thing is, is feeding your puppy. So after we've got Archer's weight, we'll send Archer home with a free sample of science diet, which we recommend, and we'll send home with a measuring cup if anyone has any problems knowing how much the dog to feed, and the instructions are, are right on the back. Once we have his feeding underway, uh, a next important um, topic to, to discuss are, are parasites that he may have already, or parasites that he might come in contact with when he's outside. And the different parasites, I don't know if you can move this over here a little bit, roundworm, hookworm, tapeworm, and whipworm are all parasites that can be in the ground that he can come in contact with. He can also come in contact with the mosquito, which has another parasite, the heartworm. So heartworm medicines these days are very comprehensive and they do a good job treating um, parasites and keeping them um, out of our dogs and our pets. Ivor Heart Max is an example of, um, of a heartworm product that we prefer here at Quinnebog Valley Veterinary Hospital. It helps with heartworm, hookworm, roundworm, and tapeworm. And we give this once a month as preventative so he will not get any of these parasites. So another product, uh, as well as the heartworm product that uh, Verbac makes, are uh, dental chews and dental rinses, which we will talk about uh, um, with you in, in the exam about keeping his teeth healthy for the rest of his life. An important product also to also talk about um, flea and tick perfect, uh, prevention in our area. Um, Canine Advantix certainly is a product that we recommend all the time that helps kill fleas and ticks. So after we discuss um, treating for fleas and ticks, another important um, component is microchipping, which can be done um, at his neuter or uh, anytime during his puppy vaccinations. Uh, which is always good to have an identification on your dog in case he gets lost. You don't want to get lost, do you? No, you don't want to get lost, no. Well, wrapping it up with Archer, thank you very much for participating in our examination with Archer, and uh, we'll see you here at Quinnebog Valley Veterinary Hospital. Thank you.